Hey everyone, it's ETN Technology News here and today I'm doing a rumor video on Android 5.0. Now Google is showing no signs of slowing its pace of Android development, with Android 4.0 appearing on the Galaxy Nexus late in 2011, followed by the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean release that arrived powering the Super Nexus 7 in July of 2012. Two more flavors of Jelly Bean were to follow. Android 4.2 was released on November 13, 2012, and then Android 4.3 arrived on July 24, 2013. Then on the 31st of October 2013, Google officially revealed its next minor update, Android 4.4 KitKat, which now clears the road for Android 5. Now the dessert themed code name that we'll assume will be on the next version of Android is pretty much anyone's guess at this point. Now before Android 4.4 KitKat released, people were assuming that it would be called Key Lime Pie, which is what many rumors and leaks were hinting at. But as we wait on official news of the next name, as well as the Android 5.0 release date and features, it's possible to start pulling together the latest rumors from around the web. So let's go ahead and jump right in by talking about the Android 5.0 release date. Until Android 4.4 was announced, I had expected the Android 5.0 release date to be sometime in October of 2013. Now instead, we saw Android 4.4 KitKat launch on the 31st of October, and in the face of that point release, I'm thinking it's now quite likely that we'll see Android 5.0 shown in mid-2014, quite possibly at Google I.O., Google's annual two-day developer conference in San Francisco. Now although Google did not reveal any new software products at Google I.O. 2013, I think Google will probably unveil the 5.0 version of Android this year at, in 2014 Google I.O. But let's go ahead and start talking about Android 5.0 phones. Now, rumor of a new Nexus handset started trickling in during the third quarter of 2012, and there was talk that this phone would be sporting Android 5.0. Instead, the handset, which turned out to be the Google Nexus 4, arrived running Android Jelly Bean. Now, while the Google Nexus 4 did not appear with Android 5.0, speculation that we reported on the 21st of January 2013 suggested that the Moto X was actually the Android 5.0 toting handset that would be revealed at Google I.O. The Moto X wasn't shown at I.O. though, and instead appeared in, October, in August of 2013, running Android 4.2.2. Then it was all on to the Nexus 5, which again, rumors were speculating that it would run Key Lime Pie, until Google dashed that by saying it would actually run Android 4.4 KitKat. Now rumors are suggesting that HTC's next device, the HTC One 2, will in fact be the flagship device running Android 5.0, but this is yet to be confirmed. Now, as far as Android 5.0 tablets, the original Nexus 7 was unveiled at Google I.O. 2012, so it was possible that we would see a Nexus 7 II running Android 5.0 at Google I.O. 2013. Again, this didn't happen, and now it's likely the Nexus 7 III will actually be the device running Android 5.0. Now as far as Samsung's Android 5.0 upgrades go, although Samsung is yet to officially confirm its Android 5.0 schedule, a Sam Mobile source is claiming to know which phones and tablets will be getting the upgrade. According to the source, the devices set to release, receive the upgrade are the Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy Note 8.0, and Galaxy Note 10.1, as well as the Galaxy Note 3. Do you know that this claim was made before Google announced Android 4.4, so if it was ever correct, it's probably a lot less correct now. Now, now let's talk about the biggest thing about Android 5.0, its features. Now, on the 28th of February 2013, we learned from Android Central that Google is working with the Linux 3.8 kernel, which gave rise to the notion that this kernel might power Android 5. One improvement that the 3.8 kernel brings is lower RAM usage, which would mean a snappier phone with better multitasking. Then on the 13th of June 2013, VRZone also claimed that Android 5.0 will be optimized to run on devices with as little as 512 megabytes of RAM. Now we're now expecting that this Linux 3.8 kernel will show up in Android 4.4, given that Google's stated aim with KitKat is to make an amazing Android experience available for everybody. Now, Google Babel also is rumored to debut on Android 5.0. Babel was the code name for Google's cross-platform service and app service with the aim of unifying its various chat services which include Talk, Hangout, Voice, Messenger, Chat for Google Drive, and Chat on Google+. Now, a screenshot that the press released confirmed that this was not only the unified chat service on its way, but that it was called Google Babel, not Babel. B-A-B-E-L, not B-A-B-B-L-E. The service was to come with a bunch of new emoticons and Google Plus built-in so you can jump from Babel Chat to Hangout. 
A leaked Google memo on the 10th of April provided more juicy details including talk of a new UI and synced conversations between mobile and desktop. Now, Android Police has found references in the Android 5.0 leaked code to functionality that doesn't exist in Glass, which suggested that developers accidentally shipped the full suite of Google Play services with the application package that came with Google Glass. As expected, we found out more about Google Play games at Google I.O., but this could be more unified in Android 5.0 and it will likely have more features. Now while this is pure speculation, I'm wondering whether Android 5.0 might bring with it a brighter interface, moving away from more the theme that came with Android 4.0. Google now brought with it a clearer look with cleaner fonts and screenshots of Google Play 4.0 which show Google's app market taking on similar design cues, and this could be hinted at a brighter, airier look for Key Lime Pie. Now, on August 6, 2013, rumors suggested that Google had applied to a patent, rather than a cool, which is a cool piece of technology whereby an Android user would be able to launch different apps by drawing different patterns on the lock screen. If this feature makes it into Android 5, it would be possible to launch the camera app by drawing one pattern and Twitter by drawing another. Now let me know what you'd like to see in Android 5.0 in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see that hasn't already been released in Android 4.4 KitKat, because at this stage, a lot of rumors that were supposed to be in Android 4.4 KitKat are just basically getting pushed ahead to Android 5.0, and basically what we have seen in Android 4.4, we're expecting to see upgraded in Android 5.0. Now please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!